Hello friends, welcome back to Tech Vue TV. In this video, I am going to show you how you can extend your Wi-Fi range using an old router. So I have my secondary Wi-Fi here with me, whereas my primary Wi-Fi is at my friend's place. I usually find it difficult to connect to it from my place, and as we are sharing the same internet connection, I had to find another way to avoid the problem. So I bought a new Wi-Fi router and connected it to the primary Wi-Fi wirelessly as the cable I had wasn't working. If you are also facing such problem, I am sure you will get some idea to solve your problem too. So let's see how to do it. Now the first thing you have to do is to reset your Wi-Fi settings. If you have a new Wi-Fi router, you can skip this step if you want to. To reset your Wi-Fi router, press and hold reset or WPS button for 10 to 15 seconds. When all LED indicators light up at the same time, your router will reset to default settings. Now insert one end of your LAN cable to your PC's Ethernet port and another to LAN port of your router. There must be two types of ports, LAN and WAN. We are going to connect the terminal to LAN port so make sure to do it right. Now first let me show you whether my internet is working. As you can see here it isn't working and I cannot open google page without internet connection. Now type LAN IP address of your Wi-Fi router in address bar and hit enter. If you don't know the address it must be at the bottom side of your router. Or you can just try 192.168.0.1 and 192.168.1.1 one 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 by one. Check which one works for you. One of them should work as they are default ones. Enter username and password as admin. If it doesn't work for you, check the bottom side of your router. There must be something about the default username and password. Now from here, if you are using different router than mine, then you have to find following options on your own. Now go to network then LAN and change the IP address. Now first you have to know IP address of your primary router. If it is 192.168.1.1 then change the secondary router's address to 192.168.1.2. Just make sure to change the last digit. Now restart your router and open router setting page using new address. Find DSCP option and disable DSCP server and again restart your router. Now go to wireless settings and there you will find enable WDS option or something similar to it. Just enable it and then click on survey. Here you can see all available Wi-Fi's in your area. Connect to one you want to but before that note down the channel number. Now select the channel number as same as primary Wi-Fi. Now select the key type and enter the password of your primary Wi-Fi. Save the settings and reset your Wi-Fi router. Now on home page of your Wi-Fi settings page, you can see WDS status. When it turns to run, that means your secondary Wi-Fi router has successfully connected to primary one and you can access internet through secondary Wi-Fi. Let me show you if my internet is working or not. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks and see you in next video.